Cougar Ace is a 654-foot uh, car transport ship that at the time in, in late July was doing a trip from Japan to the U.S. carrying about 4,000 Mazdas on board. It had a crew of 23 uh, and it flipped over on its side uh, and everybody on board went slamming down to one side. One guy snapped his leg and they all climbed up to the high side of the ship and uh, 24 hours later were taken off via helicopter by the U.S. Coast Guard. Every transport ship carries ballast water to keep it stable, and in the case of the Cougar Ace, the crew accidentally pumped all the ballast water out of one side of the ship, so suddenly the ship became completely unstable, and when it rolled on the swell, it had nothing to keep its right side down, so it just flipped over, uh, which is where the crew from Titan Salvage found it uh, when they boarded via helicopter. When big ships run into trouble, there is a limited number of people who have the expertise to try to save the ship. Uh, and so the insurance companies that, uh, that represent the ship owners have a, basically a short list of people that they call around the world, and Titan Salvage is one of these rare companies. There is a guy who can pilot any size ship in the world. Uh, there's a guy who's a, a, a welder, can weld anything, there's a big engine mechanic, they're deep sea divers, and then there's a computer modeling guy whose job it is to build a 3D model of the ship on the fly and help the team figure out how to fix the ship before they actually implement the plan. And what these guys do is they work in a somewhat obscure program called General Hydrostatics uh, that allows them to build a model of the ship uh, and then move water, move cargo, move all the elements uh, that are on a ship around to try to figure out what is going to be needed to either right the ship or to pull the ship off ground if it's, if it's grounded. The way these guys work is that if they uh, don't succeed in saving the ship, they don't get paid. Uh, but if they do succeed, they make a percentage of the ship and its cargo. Uh, so on, a, you know, on the Cougar Ace, for instance, which was uh, the cargo was worth 103 million approximately and the ship was worth more than 100 million. The guys made north of 10 million dollars. In the last three years, three guys have died on, on the job, which you know averages out to a guy a year. Uh, so it's very risky. Marty Johnson was one of the country's most uh, respected and accomplished naval architects. Unfortunately, on, uh, on their first day on the ship, um, as, they were, as they were trying to get off the ship, Marty was carrying a backpack that had about 30 or 40 pounds worth of gear in it, and they were climbing down these crazy rope ladders, and uh, the decks, you have to remember, were 60 degrees, so it's basically like climbing down a, a, a steep rock face, except that it's all steel and completely slick, so one slip and you're gone. Uh, and that's what happened to Marty. He slipped and he wasn't clipped into a rope and he fell 80 feet and uh, hit his head on a, a big metal bollard and, um, and that was basically it.